Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is Del Chanel's 48th World, and we talk about celebrities. Okay, and the reason why we do that is because we can can and a can can a can can a can can and a wheel. All right, we're gonna be featuring that story soon. Um, but we're gonna be talking about this situation here. Now, did we not tell Nene to stop fooling with the scammer man, Shaba, Mister Scammer Man, Shaba, Mister Scammer Man, Shaba, Shaba. Uh, squeak, squeak, squeak. Did we not tell her to stop fooling? Fooling around with a married man. And she going to, I guess, a nest of, what do you call them folks? A nest of, I can't think of it, but I guess the people that pop your pimples, the dermatologists. Nene could have did all that by herself. She didn't have to pay some exuberant amount of money to get that done. And then she had folks filming it. Now, Lord knows she done taught Marlo Hampton how to go and get candy birds together. Because that's what Marlo is basically doing. She's turning into Nene. And we all know how that ended up. So it would behoove Marlo to just get candy together in her own fashion way. Okay. Because right now I don't know what is going on with them two. Alright. And we know we done told Nene to cancel messing with married men all right because another story i'm gonna do seems like kim zozak gonna get some um what do you call it some lower lowering in herself she's gonna get some litigation going on by uh basically defaming her i guess with this whole lawsuit with bravo uh-huh so look for that to come uh shortly as well not tonight but you know maybe tomorrow but yeah, Nene is still taking pictures. I'm trying to figure out who is with her. Who is with her and why are they taking pictures? I know it had to be of Nene's request. Uh-huh. But I'm like, girl, you already got dark circles around your eyes. You just act like you can't come up for air. It's just, uh, it's weird looking at you now. And see how much you have fallen from grace, child. Ah, oh, just too much going on. Nene, just too much going on. And you don't want to take nobody's advice. You don't even want to take strangers' advice to tell you when to stop your foolishness. Or at least stop putting it in social media. Giving other optics that you, yeah you Nene, are still messing with a married man. And I wonder who's paying for those services. Who is paying for those services that you call yourself having done? I mean, you could have washed yourself. You could have washed your face your own self. And got one of those exfoliant type of scrubbers. to Get all that dead skin and dead cells off. Because what you think uh, was going to happen? That lady's going to bust that uh, pimple. Uh-huh. And she might have put some cleansing stuff on it as well. But you could have did that yourself, Nene. You don't need nobody scraping on your skin like that. Girl. Oh, you're doing too much. And you should be doing that type of service by yourself. Or with another female. But I don't know if you have any friends that's left that is willing to be around you at this time. Because you are a liability in its greatest form. Talk about Monique. The comedian is a liability. Uh-uh. Nene is giving us a new meaning of for, for liability. Yep. 
I don't know what to say no more, boy. Uh, boy, boy, boy. Just keep getting deeper and deeper and deeper. Because I would like to say, well, maybe it's a publicity stunt. But no, it's not a publicity stunt either. No, no. And uh, we had something that I wanted to share with you all. Because I know some of y'all may remember it, may recall it. Uh, what she told Peter to what he could do for her and that to me that was more so the big red flag she should have been looking at is when she called peter she just made sure peter was acting like a female and you know we call them um the female dog is called a bitch right well that's what she called um our friend peter yes she did she sure did. And I am going to let you listen to this. That's why I don't understand her and Peter's past. You see what I'm saying? I don't know if she was trying to make it seem like her and Peter were real good friends after her and Cynthia just, you know, went south totally. Um, alienated Cynthia further and further from her. And uh, still trying to talk about it to this day. Throwing shade at her. But I got a little clip that my daughter so graciously sent me. So y'all can understand why I don't understand why Nene is with this man. Okay, here we go. No, no, let me just say this. Let's, let me just say this, Greg. This is what you need to do. You need to stay out of women's business. You are causing f problems. You are the only husband, boyfriend, fiance that gets involved in women's business. We happen to like Peter a whole lot better than Patricia. Yeah. What woman business was I getting involved? You always involved. What we do as women is between yeah. us. We need to roll with these I'm fellas not and not try to roll with these women. Nobody, okay, well, you need to I'm stop trying to roll with the women, okay? okay? I'm not you need to stay out of women business. No you stop That's trying to be a damn bitch. Did y'all hear that? Y'all see what I'm talking about? So, this was like maybe, um, I want to say maybe the sixth or seventh season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. They was at somebody house, can't remember what it, where it was or whatnot. And they were all, you know, gathered together. And, you know, the guys was kicking it with the guys. That's when we had Apollo, Phaedra. Uh, Greg, when he was still living, of course, and we had uh, Todd, and you know, they were getting their man alliance together. And you know, the girls were pretty much, you know, I don't know, being catty somewhere in the scene of in that house they were at, but um, yeah, called Peter a bitch, and then I'm like, and you really want to get Peter to pick you a man? That's why I kind of feel like somehow Peter may have played a little part in it or maybe a larger part in it. But I think they are trying to, you know, run a number on uh, uh, Nene or even to try to get back at her in some kind of way. Like making her lose all her money, all her mind. And, you know, that was a good revenge he could have had for her. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I don't have any facts to support it at all. <laughs> I just don't. If I know I did that to somebody. Or somebody did that to me. And where the hell I'm going to uh, trust them no more. I ain't going to deal with them no more. No. I may forgive you. And that's a strong maybe. Because I, I talked with the Lord about that. But just say if I did forgive that person. That called me that. I would never deal with them no more though. I would be in passing. Hey how you doing bye. You know, we wouldn't have a long conversation. We wouldn't been trying to catch up. We wouldn't even be running in the same circles, okay? But let me let's just listen to that one more time so we can just put it in our minds of why we think Peter may be a part of this scenario. No, no, let me just say this. Let's, let me just say this, Greg. This is what you need to do. You need to stay out of women business. You are causing problems you are the only husband boyfriend fiance that gets involved in women business we happen to like peter a whole lot better than patricia what woman business was i getting you involved? always involved what we do as women is between yeah. us 
You need to roll with these fellas and not try to roll with these women. Roll with nobody, baby. Okay, well, you need to stop trying to roll with, roll with the women, okay? okay? You need to stay out of women business. You stop trying to be a damn bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you tell me some people can't forgive people and, and you know, um, still hang around them, still travel with them, still go out with them, you know, locally. And then some people like, I ain't gonna never feel, I am never gonna forget what you said to me. And I'm still feeling soft about it, even though it could have happened four or five, ten seasons ago. You know what I'm saying? It's still embedded in what that person said to me. And I was like, you know, if it's true, then you know you shouldn't have a problem with it. But if it's not true, you, you will have a problem with it. Because Greg was trying to actually step in and, and tell um, Peter he was wrong and this, that, and the third. And then he said, uh, uh let me handle this. So I'm like, okay, so now you calling uh, your husband uh, uh, a itch, Nene? Because you done let him defend your honor, which he should have just said it. And you respected whatever he said to Peter. And you need to have bounced, you know. But you, you, you be trying to run too many things. But hey, this situation that you're in currently, you're not running nothing. That man is telling you he'll act right with you when you act right. What kind of shit is that? Just because you being yourself, you can't be yourself around him. Your loud mouth, carrying on type of self. He's like, uh, I ain't finna deal with that person. I need the person that I'm trying to develop. All right. I like girl Nene. That man changing you. He don't got you hooked, hooked like a fish on a line that they finna reel in and discard you. Okay, discard you. With a fish, we would clean them up and eat them. Uh, with this situation, yeah, he gonna clean her up by taking all her money. He gonna bounce to another state or or whatever. Look for the next widow he can get. Uh, tied up and messed up when it comes to the finances but that's all i have for this video guys and i will see you on the next one all right take care